हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू आवर चैनल इंस्पायरिंग माइंड्स टुडेज क्वेश्चन कम्स फ्रॉम दिव्या एंड शी इज आस्किंग मी हाउ टू अटेम्प्ट नीट पेपर हेलो दिव्या इफ यू आर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो अटेम्प्टिंग नीट पेपर ड्यूरिंग द थ्री आवर्स इज अ सॉफ्ट स्किल एंड द स्टूडेंट्स हैव मेनी क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग पेपर सॉल्विंग सो लेट्स डिस्कस दो क्वेश्चन विच सब्जेक्ट शुड बी अटेम्प्टेड फर्स्ट दिस इज द मोस्ट आर्स क्वेश्चन बाय द स्टूडेंट्स Ideally, you should attempt the paper in a sequential manner from question one to question one eighty, as the chances of filling wrong answer in OMR sheet are reduced if you mark sequentially. But this condition is valid only if you are proficient in all three subjects. Suppose if your biology preparation is better than chemistry or physics, attempt biology first. it is beneficial as you will probably take less time in solving a subject you are well versed with this will leave you with more time for other two subjects now let's move to our next question to fill omr simultaneously or not this is the most asked question by the students every year some people mark the answer on omr as soon as they solve the question while other mark the answers after solving a certain number of question let's say 40 to 45 questions Both methods have their pros and cons. It takes less time in the former method. In the former method, while you are marking the answer of let's say question number seven, you can also simultaneously read question number eight. Your mind remains continuously active during the process. In the later method, you mark a lot of answers after solving the questions. You will spend probably five minutes filling them, and during that time, your mind won't be thinking much. This method can be good for those with shorter attention span as they get a method to take a break during exam. Now let's move to some of the tips which can save you a lot of time and bring more marks. Solve paper in rounds. This technique is a time saver and the strategy goes like this. First attempt your biology questions. It will take you 45 minutes to solve 90 questions if you have studied biology thoroughly during the whole year. And then solve chemistry theory questions only and leave the numericals. Then move to physics theory questions, solve it and then leave the numericals again. This will probably take you 45 to 50 minutes to do the above mentioned part and then jump to chemistry numericals and then finally solve physics numerical. This will help you to save more time for difficult numerical questions. Which brings us to our next step, do not guess. Unless you have eliminated two options out of four, do not guess and only guess if you are confused with five or six questions or more than that. Suppose you guess ten questions and if you have eliminated two options in each question, you will probably will get five questions right and five questions wrong. Five right equals to twenty mark and five wrong equals to minus five marks. So you may get fifteen marks while guessing questions. Personally, I won't advise guessing as sometimes you can get all ten wrong too. But if you know only hundred questions out of one eighty, you can probably use this strategy. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and classmates, and do subscribe to our channel. I will be making more such videos for you in the future too.